Close your eyes and watch your breath. Try to stay with the breath all the way in, all the way out. Don't go wandering off. If you do wander off, come right back. You want to bring the mind and the body into harmony right here. Bring them into alignment. Stay with the sensation of the body breathing in, breathing out. And this way both the mind and the body benefit. It's like living in a house. If you're outside of the house all the time, you don't fix it up when it starts having problems. Mice move in, all kinds of other things move in. Dry rot happens, the pipes break, there's nobody there to fix it. At the same time, you're outside, you don't have any shelter. It's when the owner lives in the house and can look after the house that both sides benefit. It's the same with the mind. If it stays with the body, it benefits. It has a good place to stay in the present moment, a place of ease, a place of solidity. And at the same time, you can look after the body, because you can look after the way you're breathing. Ask yourself, what kind of breathing would feel good for the body right now? Long breathing or short breathing? Fast, slow, heavy, light, deep, shallow? Try to see what kind of breathing feels best for the body. You can experiment for a bit. Or you can simply pose the question in the mind, what kind of breathing would feel good now, each time you breathe in, and see how the body responds. If there are places in the body that feel tense or tight, you allow them to relax. Think of the whole body breathing together. If there's tension in your arms, tension in your legs, in your head, think of it relaxing and dissolving away as you breathe in, breathe out, so that no new tension builds up as you breathe in, and you don't hold on to any tension as you breathe out. This way you're looking after your house here inside. When you have a comfortable place to stay like this, then you're a lot like, less likely to want to do things that are unskillful. The reason we do things that are not in our own best interest is because we're hungry for pleasure right away. And there are a lot of things that give pleasure in the short term but are going to give pain in the long term. And it's like when you're hungry. You don't really care whether the food is nutritious or not. You just eat whatever you've got. But when you're well nursed, then you start getting picky. Is this food good for me? Is it not good for me? It's the same way with the mind. When the mind is well nourished like this, the idea of acting on greed, aversion, and delusion is not all that attractive, because you've already got something good right here. It's when you're starving here in the present moment that you jump for anything. You're like a person standing at the side of the road. A car drives up and says, jump in, and you're not feeling comfortable on the side of the road, then you jump right in, without even asking, who are you? Where are you going to take me? If we lived our lives like that, we'd die. But that's where the mind is. A thought comes up, you run with it without really thinking where it's going to go. But when you're well nourished like this, it's like you're sitting in a comfortable house and somebody drives by, says, "Come with me." And when you're because you're already comfortable, you can say, "Well, where are you going?" It's not the case. You're not supposed to think at all. It's just that when you finish thinking things that are really worthwhile, it's good to come back and rest right here in the present moment. That way, the mind is rested and strong, so the next time you really have to think about something, you're prepared. Otherwise, you just think, 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 think. It's like a knife that you use, 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 without sharpening it. Of course, it's going to get dull. So there are all kinds of advantages that come from both the body and the mind being together like this. This principle of harmony works inside as well as outside. When the mind is in harmony with the body, the body in harmony with the mind. They both benefit. When we act in harmony with other people, both sides benefit especially on a day like this where there's a lot of work to be done. Lots of hands help, and the heavy work becomes light, and light work becomes hardly noticeable at all. So start with this principle of inner harmony and see if we can spread it out to outer, outer harmony as well. That way there's, there are benefits all around. <laughs>